What's going on everybody? Aaron from HelpCloud here and today we're going to unbox a Google Home Mini and do a step-by-step -step setup guide, so stay tuned. So the Google Home Mini is an assistant just like the Amazon Echo devices that allow you to control and set up like your smart home accessories, like your Wi-Fi plugs, your smart Wi-Fi lights, get the news, traffic, etc. So let's get started. This particular one is the Google Home Mini, which is basically the first generation. They do have the Google Nest Mini out now, which is the second generation. It is a little bit more expensive, but it does have like a built-in mount. It's got a little bit better speaker system on there, and uh, Google was saying that they do have some more features. So with this, let's go ahead and open it up. Take this, pull the tab the bottom opens up and you can see the Google Home Mini is right there on the top this is the charcoal color this does come in a few different other colors but uh, there's that it's got a nice rubber bottom which is really good that way and if it's sitting on something it's not gonna slide around uh, micro USB port for powering and then also uh, it's got a physical mute switch which is what I like versus uh, what is on the echo devices from Amazon so Again, that's the unit right there. Let's get started, get to know your Google Home Mini, and then be safe uh, plus warranty. So you've got a little bit of documentation right there. And then of course you do have the power cable. So that's everything in the box. You're gonna get your Google Home, your power cable, and then of course some documentation right there. So let's go ahead and download the app and get this thing set up. Perfect, so from here, you're gonna to want to plug in the device just because it allows it to give time for it to fully boot up for the initial setup process. So we've got that plugged in, of course, with the supplied micro USB cable. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna to want to either visit the App Store or the Play Store in order to download the Google Home app. So I've already got it downloaded here. When you first download and install it, it's gonna ask you to get started and then attach an email address to it. I've already done those steps. So what it's wanting me to do, if I can find the app here, is there it is. So you'll notice now that we have the device booted up and we've given it time, it asks us to set up one device and we're also getting a notification to set up a nearby Chromecast device. So there's a couple ways that you can do that. You could set it up this way, set it up with the notification. If you're not getting those options, just tap on get started right here. It's gonna ask you to set up a device right here, set up a new device in your home, and you can go through the process that way. So let's actually just do that. Let's go ahead and get started. Set up a device in your home. Now it's gonna want you to create a home name. So we're just gonna do demo home. We'll leave the address out, we'll just hit next, done, and then we are gonna to want to tap next in the bottom right hand corner. It does say address missing or invalid without a valid address. Responses like traffic, weather are gonna be inaccurate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue without address and it's gonna to proceed to the next step. It's gonna connect or it's gonna talk locally. It's gonna start looking for the device, which is the mini right here. Of course, I get a phone call. Now it says Google Home Mini found. Would you like to set up this device? So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on yes. Connecting to Google Home Mini, your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup, which means it's gonna disconnect your phone and it's gonna connect it to the Google Home so it can start talking to each other. So we'll let that finish. Perfect, did you hear the sound? This lets you know you're connected to the right Google Home Mini. So we did hit yes, and so we're gonna click on that. Agree to legal terms, I agree, and improve uh, Google Home Mini, I'm just gonna click on no thanks. Where is this device located? So you're gonna scroll through this list to find where you want to put this locate or put this uh, Google Home. This one's gonna be in the office, but if you do want to set up a custom room, come on down here, tap on custom room and hit next, and it will allow you to name that room. So I'm gonna do office, next, connect uh, to Wi-Fi. We're gonna choose, of course, a Wi-Fi network. You're gonna want to make sure that you've got it connected to the closest Wi-Fi. There's an access point right behind me, so I'm gonna want it to have the best signal strength. So I'm just gonna choose the Mission Control 2.4 and then hit next. Google Partners, if you wanna go through all this legal information, you can go through that by clicking the little arrow. We're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna tap on next. We'll let it finish doing what it needs to do. Perfect, it's gonna probably enter your street address if it's pulling it from the phone. If not, you can click on skip or you can type it in manually. I'm just gonna tap on confirm address and it says all done. Here's a review of what you set up and some additional things you can do. You can add a payment so you can do Google shopping, order food delivery, call a ride if you have a payment method on there. Change your caller ID, add your personal number so people who know who's calling. So if you use your Google Home, you can use it to call people. 
you can set up your personal number. Uh, change your caller ID, it's got your address, your device, services, and your pa or your Wi-Fi that you're connected to. We're just gonna click on continue. And it says office speaker is ready. Now let's explore what you can do. Continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So here's just a few things that we can do. Of course, you use the keywords. So basically, hey Google or okay Google, those are going to be the wake words that you're gonna use to, in, to uh, use this. So play some music, set the volume to 70, stop. So here's just a few things that you can do with the Google device. So we're just gonna tap on finish setup. So as you can see, it takes us back to the kind of like the demo home or the, your, your home's uh, general settings. And from here, you can tap on the office speaker and change some additional settings as well. So you can change the volume of it right here. And if you look, you can see the lights changing as well. This indicates the volume level. You can also tap on the side, the left and right sides to change the volume. So as you can see right there. This one, the Google Home Mini, Google released a really cool feature called Continued Conversations where you can string multiple commands together, but if you also ask them something, then, and then you ask them a different question, it's automatically gonna assume that you're talking about the same thing and continue that conversation. So something that I really wish the Amazon Echo devices had. But if you go up here, we can click on just a few settings. We've got equalizer settings. You can set custom equalizers. Another thing that we can do is if we go up to the gear up here, there's a bunch of different settings that we can adjust from the alarms, the name of it, the home, office. You can add it to a group, change the Wi-Fi network, uh, digital well-being, if you wanted to focus on what matters most with two digital well-being features, you can filter your content and also schedule downtime to unplug for your assistant. So you can go in and set those up if you want to limit yourself. Accessibility, start the sound on and off. Night mode will reduce the volume of responses and decrease the brightness of the LEDs. So they're not so specific and you can set those up at uh, specific times as well. Uh, going through the list here, we've got paired Bluetooth speakers. These do have Bluetooth built in. So if you have a nicer like Bose speaker, then you can set it up to where this is gonna pair with the bows and if you play music or responses, it's automatically gonna default over to the better speaker. So you can pair that there and then also set the default music and audio speaker right there in the app. Choose a TV if you want to. You, when you ask office speaker to show show time or show, show something on the TV, it'll play on the TV selected below. So you can add a TV to it. Going back, we've got equalizer settings like we discussed earlier, notifications, recognition, YouTube settings, if you have this in like a child's room, you can set up some parental locks where YouTube restricted mode, hide songs and videos that may contain inappropriate content and allow only programs with certain ratings up to PG. So those are some pretty cool settings there. You can use Duo Calling. Duo Calling is a Google app that allows you to base, it's like kind of like a Facebook Messenger, messenger or like Google Hangout. You can use this to do the Duo Calling. And then if you ever need to remove the device, you can just click on remove from home and unlink down here at the bottom. So, so like I said, that's just a few other settings that you can go in and kind of fine tune your speaker device that if you need to go back, just come up here to the top corner and tap on the arrow and that will take you to your home's home page. Well guys, that is all there is to it when it comes to setting up a Google Home Mini. Now I will be leaving a link in the video description below. This will kind of give you some more ideas on what you can do with the Google Home as well as take a look at some of the other features that we didn't cover in today's video. With that being said, that will wrap up this week's tech tip. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and enable the bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>